did come back different. Growing a mustache? Looks good. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Yeah. You go to his funeral? personally have no idea how to make this video even sound slightly interesting, but I personally had a lot of fun filming it, so like I can't find an appealing title in my head that would make someone who's not avidly interested in snakes click it. So I guess this is only for my avidly loving snake fans. Hi. I try to like make my videos sound fun and entertaining even to people who don't personally care about owning snakes and things like that, depending on whatever the topic may be. I try to make it fun and entertaining even if you don't care about that stuff, but I have no clue how to title a video about me redecorating a snake cage to make it sound interesting other than to people interested in snakes. So thanks for clicking on the video if for some reason you're not actually interested in snakes and you decided to give it a chance anyway. I appreciate it. Okay, so, so in this video today I am upgrading my Sumatran short tail python duck. I choose a really good names. I'm upgrading her cage from her tub into a bigger vision cage. Not because she couldn't live in a tub her whole life, but because the tub she was in, she couldn't live in her whole life. And I don't want to go right now and get a whole new tub set that are deeper and bigger. I just don't have enough snakes right now that need the upgrade. In the future, I might very well get bigger racks, but right now I don't need them. So basically, we're just moving her into a vision cage so I had to kind of scrunch them into my closet somehow, but I did it. I did it. So today you're going to be watching me take Duck from a little cramped tub to a big spacious vision cage that she will surely only use like 33% of. I don't know why that was the number I chose, but she's definitely not going to like be running around the she has no feet, she can't run. Wiggling around the cage 24 seven, she's gonna hide in the hides 99% of the time, but she still needed more space to sit cause she is fat. Sumatran short tails and just any um, short tail pythons in general tend to be very chubbier, bulkier snakes. They're ground dwelling snakes that kind of just sit there a lot. So they don't need to have like a lean body. They get very chubby and they're known to get obese if you kind of let it go too far. So I have to watch her diet. So yeah, I watch her diet. I make sure she's good and healthy and she's at a very good weight because I can still see her spine, but it's not overly noticeable. And that's when you know if your short tail is at a decent weight. If you can't see their spine at all, they might be a little chubby. So she's gotten way too big for her tub. I literally had to take, I used to have two hides in there. I had to swap it out for just one hide because she was getting too big for the hides. It's, it got too small. She's big now. She has a whole lot more growing to do because they do get very big. I could still hold her really easily and balance her on one hand. And when she's an adult, I definitely won't be able to do that. So I thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you guys enjoy me giving her a cool upgrade. Let's get to the video. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know that this footage that you're about to see is the very first time I ever did anything with this new camera. So for the first few minutes, the audio is a little off and the focus just might not be amazing because I was still learning how to work it. So give me a break on this video. I didn't know what the heck I was doing with my new camera. <laughs>
Thank you. So these are from my old house and they're a little bit gross and need to be cleaned up a bit. So we're gonna do that. The bottom one doesn't even have the doors on. So we're gonna do that real quick and get this all fixed up and ready for my little friends, okay? I feel like that lady from um, Powerpuff Girls. Is that even the right show? I don't, I think it is. The cartoon where the lady never has a head. That reminds me, girls, where on earth did you come up with a million dollars for the ransom? It wasn't really a million dollars. It was the mayor's dirty laundry. Yeah, I'm thinking of the right one. We're gonna start with this bottom one and we're going to give it doors. <laughs> Look at me, I am a, I was about to say a mechanic. I am a builder, construction, what am I trying to say? Oh, there's a spider web in it. Okay, please hold, <laughs> oh my God. Flukers, super scrub, brush included. That is a dirty brush, that's disgusting. Don't y'all love that I have this new nice camera to show y'all how disgusting this brush is? Spider web, where are you? There's a spider in here. I like spiders and all, I do. What I don't like is when spiders surprise me. Like if I'm just sticking my head in a hole and it jumps on my face, I'm not gonna like it. Let's start with a towel. It's clean. That was my attempt to uh, swat the spider down in a hopefully non-killing way. We do not support animal abuse on this channel, including the whacking of wild spiders. Save your fellow spiders. Cute. Extra cute, radiating cuteness. Oh my God, is it out of focus? There we go, I was gonna say, I did not buy this new camera for it to be out of focus. That focus is on point. I'm just gonna become a channel that only talks with my hands. Not sign language, just weird hand movements where I tell you guys, this is what's going on here. I'm going to be cleaning the snake cage. I'm never gonna show my face again, just my hands so we can talk like this. Okay? Okay. I am sober, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. Why does it look like I have ketchup right there? Now that I've cleaned it with actual cleaner, now I'm gonna just spray it down with some water. Make sure I got everything, you know? Only the best for my snakes. All right? All right, all right. Spick and span. So now we're gonna put the window door things on. Actually, maybe I should clean them first. They're, they're a little gross. So, one second. I forgot to use this spray really quick, so I'm gonna spray it down and water it one more time. I should put a bra on, cause I'm filming, but I'm not gonna. So I'm just gonna make it really awkward by pointing that out while I keep filming. Thanks for watching, Mom. Let's see if we can get some cool, high definition shots of this with my new fancy camera. Just trying to use my camera to its fullest benefit since my last camera's autofocus feature was trash. Subscribe to this channel to watch me clean glass. I almost got in a career of window cleaning, but then I was like, you know what? Instead of window cleaning, I want to make videos about animals on YouTube for a career. Looks clean enough. It's a little icky right there, but clean enough. I don't have the patience, honestly. I'm too excited to set this up. So now this goes on the inside one which is kind of hard to do. Just kidding, that was really easy. <laughs> now I have to clean this other one. Let's speed this up. Um, clean enough, again. Too anxious to get started. Yay! It does look like there's a few little scratches, but you can't really see it, so that's fine. But there's a little, few little scratches. It's okay. So, let's set up the inside. What do you think, ghost? Hey ghost, look into the camera and show them how beautiful you are. No, that's, you looked everywhere but the camera, ghost. Ghost, look in the camera. All right, trying to use him to show you guys how nice the quality of this camera was, but it's fine. Let's go back to this bad lighting. I feel like I act a little too weird sometimes, and it's like, is she actually sober? But you know what? I have a necklace with my sobriety date on it, and this is illegal to own unless you're sober. So <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is fill this up with forest floor, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of eco earth, and then we're gonna mix it all together, and we know we got the best of both. Forest floor is my go-to substrate. I love it. So we're just gonna rip a hole in the bag like this so it can spill everywhere, and we're gonna pour it in. And then we're gonna leave it just like a pile and put the snake in. Just kidding, haha, <laughs> so funny. Taylor is hilarious. All right, so now I'm gonna go get some Eco Earth from the garage. Mission accomplished. 
make a little area for the water bowl. One thing I just realized I don't have is the heat pad. Let's just pretend for this editing purpose where you see me set up a snake enclosure that this half, this half has a heat pad under it because they should have half a side where they can get warmth and then they slither on over here and have half a side they can get cool. You got it? And typically you want to put the heat pad on the side that the water bowl is not on because then the water bowl will just evaporate and that's annoying and a waste of water. We're trying to save the planet here, people. We have an extra lard, lard? We have an extra large hide that we're gonna put on one of the sides so she can have some extra room because her hide is starting to get a little, a little cramped. Starting to run a little low on room in there. Should probably not be cleaning with the same towels I bathe with. I need to make a note that this towel is no longer safe. And we're gonna put it on this side. Hopefully y'all can see in there. Again, I'm using really crappy lighting, but I'm trying. All right, all right, now I'm gonna go look at her cage. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now so I can go ahead and start taking it apart for this. Got it, got it, got it, good. So, here's her lovely big, actually you should probably move before I do this. This is her enormous cage. Ooh. So literally, it's gonna take two seconds to do this marvelous cage tour. We have a hide, some leaves, wood, and a bowl. The end. <laughs> it's obviously way too small and I'm just uncomfortable with it. Ever since I had to take her hide out, I've been really uncomfortable leaving her here. So now we're going to upgrade her. All right, all right, that was the cage tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you didn't fall asleep because of how long it was. Nemo, no, 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 bed kit, no, no, no. No, 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 thank you. Okay, anyway, cats are a little rambunctious today. Next up, let's fill her cage with goodies, shall we? What is your problem? What is he doing? Help. Nice to meet you, sir. So we're making progress. It's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna go dig around right now in my garage and see if I have any spare supplies, but I wanna put stuff in the center. The water bowl's gonna go here. But I just want some more wood and like enrichment. I don't want her just to be like going from hide to hide to hide to hide to water bowl, even though that's generally all a snake does. Some snakes like colubrids and stuff are much more rambunctious and like to explore. These completely flat, chunky, floor dwelling pythons like short tail pythons where they're like super prone to obesity. They just don't move much. So there really isn't too much she needs other than a good place to hide because she does get pretty hefty. I still just aesthetically pleasing, even at the least, just to make it look pretty. I want it to be more. No, oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> looks like my cats can't stay in here. Not cool. So now I got that bowl in there. I definitely want to upgrade the bowl though. So I'm gonna <laughs> look for bigger bowls. No, 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 Nemo, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like to make the area around the bowl have less substrate than the rest of the cage so the substrate doesn't get carried into the bowl as much. So I kind of make it really thin around the bowl and then spread out the rest to make it deeper everywhere else. Okay, so I'm gonna go dig around in my garage and see if we could find any treats to put in here. If not, I'm gonna put some moss in there and call it a day until I go get more supplies. You'd imagine in all of this, which is 99.7% animal supplies. You would imagine that there's enough to fill a snake cage, but I don't know. Maybe stuff over there. Maybe, possibly, huh? Maybe, but can I reach it is the real question. Hey, trash can, do you still work? You do. Aww. Um. Okay, that, that's enough. Okay. Mm okay. Huh, maybe. Oh God, it's fine. It's cool. I'll go clean this stuff. God dang it. Okay. Yeah. Trash can. I've. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's decontaminate these things, shall we? Pretty sure the only way to do this is by boiling it. Okay, they were out there for a few months, but they were in a tub that was air sealed, so there's nothing wrong with it. There's no mold on them or weird animals or bugs or anything. We are all good in the hood. So now we're gonna try to put them in my snake's hood. Does this fit in a smaller one? Hold on. Let's see if this fits in the smaller one so I could leave something for my ball python. Prop it upright, I think I might like it in there. So we're gonna leave it in there. Okay, so what we have so far is a hide, a hide, some leaves, 
some wood that she can climb on. There's a branch back there and a branch right here. She can climb on it. Um, she won't though. <laughs> she won't. Another hide that's a little deeper on the cool side of her cage. And her smallish water bowl, she can still fit in it, but it, it's like, it's, it's pushing. But I think she's gonna really like that hide. With this space right here, I just wanna put like fake plants or something, and maybe some fake plants right here. So I'm gonna go see one last time if I can find anything. Okay, so I ended up finding some fake plants to put there and then a little fake plant to put over here that's pretty cute. So I feel like we're good. She has some floor space to, you know, chill, a hide, a hide, cute little plants that she could hide under, bowl that needs to be bigger, branches that she could climb on and hide behind, and another cute little, what is that noise? Yeah, I feel like feel like we're good here and I feel like it's time to let her in. I really wish I could show you like a full thing of a cage instead of half at a time. Like I want to do a full shot of the cage, but I have to take the glass off. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's a little easier to see. Can you all see it now? Kind of. Bindi's cage is glaring, but you can kind of see it. With my nice new camera, I wanted to show you all a pretty cage tour. Do not think about jumping Nemo. No. Hands off, son. I love you, you're so cute. Okay, I forgot to add the uh, uh, moss. Done, <laughs> I'm so funny. Please thumbs this video up. Nemo, do not think about going in there. We're gonna slide her in and I 100% bet that she's gonna go to one of the two hides. Which one do you think she'll pick? I don't know, vote now in the comment section. Just kidding, just just watch. Hi, Bubby. Here's my Huffy Huffy. I love you, you're so pretty. She used to be very aggressive, so she's gotten really, really good with me. Oh, it's not focused. Anytime, she, anytime I used to open her cage, she would just go for me. She luckily has never bitten me, so I never had to experience her real wrath. Let's get her in there. This is what she looks like right now, her size. So this is her size right now. So she's still relatively pretty dang small compared to what she's gonna be. I'm gonna kind of let her find her way. There we go. So she actually, she kind of played me here. She did not go into one of the hides. She went directly next to the hide and she's just hanging. Cool, guess she's comfy. What is she doing? She's literally just staying this way. I don't, can she move? Get to moving. <laughs> this is what I meant by they're really lazy and they don't do much. She just got her face in there and was like, I'm good. I don't really know where she's going. Oh, she's way back there. She has her head poking out back there. Hi. Yeah, you got a lot more space now, girly girl. I love you. If she does anything cool before I upload this, like sit, but in a different direction, I will update you guys. Would you like to own a big tube of flesh that consumes other flesh and has no appendages? It's just a tube of fat that sometimes, <gasps> sometimes it moves. This is exciting, guys. This is really remarkable. Get that light on here. Look at that. It's moving. The tube of flesh is moving. Oh, it stopped. It, it stopped moving. All right, cool. Glad I got that whole cage ready for her so she could just uh, sit there. I don't know what I expected, honestly. Now I just do the thing where we uh, lock it. And I don't really know where the key went, but I'll go find it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, before it was time to post this video, I did end up going out and buying a bigger water dish for duck before the video came out. So I decided I would show you guys. So here's the actual cage now that it's finished. It is really, really cool looking. So the cage is super cool. There's this dish that's plenty big for her now and just a lot of accessories to make it look very pretty and then a hide on the cool side and a hide on the warm side. I did end up getting a heater. You just can't see it because it's under the cage but it's there and I believe she is somewhere in here. I just don't know where. I heard her hiss earlier but I just don't know where she is so she's somewhere in here. Yeah see I just heard it again. 
And again, she's back there. We just can't really see her and I don't want to pull her out because she looks comfy. But the cage is just super cool now. I'm really happy with the obvious improvement. It's just wonderful. So anyways, wish I could get it at an angle where y'all could see it really well. But it's a very cool cage. I'm very happy with it. 10 out of 10. Very happy. Cool. Good deal. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you didn't, I'm sorry. I tried, okay? On weeks that it's kind of busy and hectic, I like to do videos where I just show you guys cage upgrades because it's a task that I'm already gonna be doing, so I might as well film it, you know? Galaxy brain knowledge. I still have more snake videos I'm working on too that'll be coming out soon. I think next week might be another snake video. Maybe, possibly, but I might switch it up just to surprise ya. If you guys don't know, I do have a second channel that is for vlogs and more personal stuff and chats about addiction and mental health, and I just started using it again. I literally only have one video out right now. It's right there. Go check that channel out if you'd like to talk about more personal stuff, if you don't want to just talk about snakes and animals with me. I don't know why I'm saying it like you're gonna talk back. I think it'd be really weird, no offense, but like if I'm talking in the video and you're just sitting there staring at your computer screen going like, yeah, I really agree with that. Out loud? That just seems a little weird. So if you want to watch more content that's not just snakes and animals, feel free to go check out that other channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Wait, no, I don't know if you subscribed or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and press the subscribe button. That's how easy it works. You press the subscribe button, you press the notification bell so you actually know when I upload, and then yeah, you're part of the family that has no name. A lot of YouTubers have names for their fans. I don't know what to call you guys. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll come up with a name, but I doubt it. We're like three years into this channel and I still don't know what the hell to call you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time or actually you will be seeing me, but I will see you in the comment section. So technically I'll kind of be saying you. I don't know what I'm saying. I never have an outro. I don't have one of those like slogans where I'm like, see you later or whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. So this video is over, but I just wanted to remind you guys of my last video that you can go watch where I get a cute new little member of the family. And then a video about a story of mine that's very personal, but very important to my channel. So you can check those out there and you can subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. Yeah, please click on one of these things. You clicking? <laughs> okay, click away, bye.